you think Wales should be represented on the Union Jack? Yes, I do. That's a really good suggestion. Yes, I think they do. Maybe they should add a little bit of green to the Union Jack. Maybe we should design it. So if anyone isn't aware, the British flag consists of the England flag, Scotland flag, and Northern Ireland, okay? But there is no Wales, okay? There is no Wales. And the Wales flag is this. This is the Welsh flag. It's got a dragon on it. I wonder, You know, at school, like a classic thing to do is to draw your country's flag, isn't it? It's something like primary school kids do. I want to know how difficult it is to draw a flag, a Welsh flag at school. <laughs> I want to know how difficult it is. What do you do to relax? What do you do to switch off? I, well, I like to paint. Oh, I make things. I have a thing where I make models of... I mean, when I was in like, well, Mayor of London, we build a beautiful... I make buses and then I paint them. I paint, no, I paint no. the passengers enjoying themselves. Okay. We are going to design the Welsh flag. Let's do it in paint because paint's fun, right? Actually, photo pee. All right, here we go. New project. So the question of questions is, should the Welsh be represented on the British flag? And I think the answer is yes. Yes. They are the second biggest language in the United Kingdom, okay? And I think they should be represented on the Union Jack. The road from Slan by the push wing is to go get a quindrobo, Slan to Silio, go, go, go. The question is, though, how should they be represented? That is the good question. Should we first just stick them in the top right? What do you think? It's design number one. We just stick them in the top left. Design number one. Yes or no, guys? Don't yes or no. You think we should do this? Too wide. Too wide? No? <laughs> It's, like a, it's got a bit of an American theme to it, hasn't it? The green doesn't fit. Okay, let's try a different design. What if we were to pop some green in the bottom? What about this? So you can see the colors, yeah? What about this? Do you think this would be good? Number two. So we've got, we're representing the green bar. Or maybe we just go a solid green. Solid green, what do you think? New British flag with Wales represented. No? We've got the Welsh green. Actually, I think the Welsh core is a bit, is a bit darker, isn't it? What do you think? Yes or no? Is this a new British flag? All right, let's try another one. Okay. So, selection, color range. What about that? It's got Welsh now. Oh, actually, what we could do, actually. We'll do that. And then we do that. Then England's represented now. There you go. You got England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. <laughs> there you go. What do you think? This is number three. We leave the green alone. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this looks like a kid's done it at school. I am that kid. I know, I know, I know, but we're, 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 we're full of energy. I'm full of energy. And... Let's take it all the way further. Let's go all the way to the beginning. What if we just represent the dragon? So what if we erase out the top left, put the dragon there? What do you think? Yeah? No? Yes? Wales represented. The dragon should be green? No, it's not. The Welsh dragon's red. Wrong. Well, I think with procedures this simple, even a liberal democrat could uh, could do them quite okay, easily. Bloody rap scallions! What if we made the the, the dragon colour solid? What about that? This one. It's not hard to make out, isn't it? What if I make it white to represent the paleness of the of the Welsh people? <laughs> England too. Scotland too. Have a cup of tea. Will you, you like a tea? cup of tea? Yeah, sure. Go on, say have a cup of tea, because I have nothing to say about this matter except to offer you some tea. Okay, <laughs> go on. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. We can make an out, put an outline on it for the Welsh green. Welsh. What about that? <laughs> have the UK flag on the top level. Welsh flag. <laughs> yeah. Based. What if we did that? There we go. What do you think about this one? The new British flag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll make it a little bit bigger. There we go. The new Welsh flag. I mean, British flag. British flag. There we go. Marvellous. Hi, folks. I'm very proud to have signed this amazing nationwide flag uh, supporting England and uh, supporting all the values that our country represents, uh, particularly uh, ensuring that we have respect uh, for diversity across our country. Come on, England, in the match today. Come on, England. Make the dragon green. Stop with the green dragon, okay? We don't need the green dragon, all right? I think if we were going to be really serious about this, I think the secret is just to put a bit of green on the Union Jack. I think that's what would represent Wales, wouldn't it? I'm being serious now. I'm being serious. Well, I'm trying my absolute best to erase out other people's flags. You know, this is really difficult, you know, because at the end of the day, someone's losing out here because my pixels for the Welsh flag is going to go over one of the other English, uh, UK countries. So I'll be totally honest with you. I don't think any English person, Scottish person or Irish person is going to be happy having green on the flag. <laughs> I think they're all going to be so mad. <laughs> but where are the dragons, Dave?
Oh, man. Okay, just give me a second. Do you know what? That actually looks pretty good. That actually looks pretty good. But the problem is, the problem with this is that it means that Wales takes the center stage on the flag. It kind of looks like a, a Welsh monarchist flag. So basically, as Wales, you flip to monarchist, then you take out the rest of the UK and then form the, the kingdom of Wales Britannica. <laughs> and this is what this is. Looks like a biker gang patch. It does. It does. What if I could do something less, more subtle? Like an emblem. It reminds me of a bit like a, a stamp. You know what I mean? It's a bit Game of Thrones-y, doesn't it? You know what the best thing about Australia? Is the British flag in the top left. That's the best part. I love it. <laughs> this is the best part of the Aussie flag. Gotta love it. It's a great flag. Best flag. <laughs> You know the biggest issue with the Aussie flag, as well as the New Zealand flag, is their flags are just too much alike. Maybe you should have some like shooting stars and shit on there and like some fireworks, you know what I mean? Put an emu on there. I, I actually don't think that, by the way, just aesthetically for a second, I don't think the New Zealand flag and the Australian flag are actually bad flags, okay? I, I think just the issue was the, the two flags are too alike. I'm getting way too much enjoyment out of this. This is fun for me. Perfection. Perfection. This is a work of art. <laughs> This is good shit. No, but seriously, we're not really here to do the Aussie flag, okay? We're here to do the Welsh flag, okay? Okay, so this is my final thing, okay? My Dave's final thought, all right? The only way we can represent everyone in Great Britain is if we do basically everyone's colors, basically, all right? You know, like how America represents everyone with different colored stars? But I think the truth is we have to represent everyone with different colors. So we got a bit of red for England, of course. Orange to represent, you know, like, Dutch relationships with Britain, you know, like they go back a really long way. Yellow represents our monarchy because it's rich and powerful, best in the world, GB strong. Green, Wales, of course, Wales. And then we need Scotland. Oh, I'm sorry, Scottish people. I almost forgot about you. She's Scotland strong. What shampoo uh, do I use? Yeah, well, uh, I honestly don't know what shampoo I use. It's the same stuff that I use for all sort of cleaning purposes, and it's blue. That's all I know. It's blue. I personally, personally, my favorite color is purple. So I think that's the new British flag. Yeah, there we go, guys. How can, how can anyone complain about that? How can anyone complain about that, all right? That is perfection. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Something ain't right. There you go, perfection. Everyone is represented. Oh, and the green can be Ireland as well. <laughs> uh, all right. Brexit affect my holiday? No, not at all. You'll have a fantastic holiday. Does Brexit make my passport expire? No, but it does mean that you are entitled to a beautiful new blue passport. Everyone who loved this video also loved this one. Give it a click.